Hello YouTube, so my name is Asfar and I'm from Hot Rods DFW. So I wanted to make this video like the aftermath or what happened after I cracked uh, this carbon fiber uh, wheel on my uh, car. So yeah, I mean, it, I, I took like three days to process because this is, this is not something we want our, our, our lovely cars to go through. So I was pretty depressed being honest and I mean, I was in a shock and I'm like, holy shit, I knew about the price of the wheel. But I never thought it will happen to me. So yeah, I mean, what, what so what has happened? So well, I finally decided to go through the insurance route, and I'm lucky. Just today, the insurance is approved. I mean, they were upset about it as well. They were like, "What the hell is this wheel?" Uh, but they've approved uh, the the claim, and I had like a thousand dollar deductible. So out of pocket is thousand dollars. I'm gonna show you and upload right here. Uh, the overall work order from Ford, but it's an $8,000 guys because just the wheel itself with sales tax and stuff was $7,800. So when I started thinking about what are my options, so obviously my option was one to get it repaired and Shelby Flyers, uh, Tim has a video on his channel about it. So there is apparently some guy who does some repair in California so you can ship the wheel to them and they'll repair it and fix it. It wasn't inspiring a lot of confidence for me. I did not want to go through that because it's a high speed, high performance car. So I was like, maybe that's not an option. So the second one was look for a wheel uh, on, on eBay and, and, and if somebody's selling it. Uh, but most of the people I came across wanted to sell all the four, which makes sense, you know. So I was like, hey, you know what? I don't want to cut corners and just, just go uh, the actual thing. And I mean, who better than Ford? So the good thing, there are 32 wheels all across the United States for the front. So we managed to get one and the shipping and all that will take about a week. So the wheels should be here next week, Friday, probably the week after. So that's a good part uh, that there is no crazy back order. So I'm very happy about that. The bad, obviously, I had to go through the insurance process. I still have a thousand dollar deductible and I was pretty upset. So yeah, I mean, let me flip the camera and then show you once again the uh, the damage but before we do that i got a lot of questions and a lot of comment on, on on the last video i posted so for all all of you who have, who have really come there and expressed your uh, i mean like, like, like your concern so thank you so much i really appreciate everybody who has seen the video so what, like some of the messages i got is like how do you feel about them right now in the hindsight would you do it again and it's such a hard one guys because this car I have had the old Mustang, which was without the carbon fiber wheel, and it does drive a lot better than that Mustang. And I'm pretty sure that that, that can be attributed a, to a large extent to the wheel. So I don't know, you know, like it's so hard, like even with all this, even now knowing that these wheels are fragile, because if it was a metal wheel, first of all, they may not have been damaged or if damaged, maybe still workable, or you can still buy them for a cheaper price. But I, I don't know if I'll change them because I just love everything about this car. I love how it drives and handles and I would not want to mess with that. So yeah, I mean, you know, like this is one of those things you got to live with it. The only problem is we bought a $100,000 car which competes with supercars on performance level. But there are some bits and quacks that if God forbid you damage this wheel. Yeah, I mean, it will set you back like a supercar. So just be careful. I mean, that's the, that's the only thing I can say. It was a hard knock. Like when I processed it in my head, I think it was a nasty knock. I, I went and I, I checked it again. So it was a manhole and it was like, like the, the lid was recessed. So I think it was a hard knock. So it's not that fragile, but it's still, I'm 100% sure it's weaker than the steel rims or the alloy rims and stuff. So yeah, I mean, you, you decide on your own and anybody who wants to still buy a carbon fiber track pack Mustang, I think it's like, I mean, if you ask me, probably do it because this will offer you so much more that you won't regret and, and, and then god forbid nothing should happen so yeah that's that's my two cents now let's flip the camera and i'll show you the damage once again and then we'll talk about a little bit more yeah guys so let's have a look at, at, at the damage itself let me flip the camera because it was my uh, driver's side front wheel and that's the another disappointing part because the back wheels are like $5,500 so it is the front which is far more expensive so yeah let's have a look at uh, what the damage is now looking like yeah guys so now looking at the damage so that was the wheel obviously now let's have a look so yeah you can see this so I did have to drive the car a little bit like a couple of miles 
So I think it, it popped open a bit more than what it was when it first cracked. But as you can see, let me, I hope it focuses. So see that part, so it's, it's literally, I mean, that was my, the, my fear about carbon fiber wheel all the time because it won't, like if you curb it, it's not gonna bend, it's gonna chip. That's exactly what happened. And I think, I don't know if there was some, like something holding off because they, they must have used something to glue the overlay carbon fiber. So this one is completely coming off. You can see it, it cracked, so there is a crack developing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if I would have kept driving, this piece will fall off. Right now, it's not leaking tire pressure, so I don't know if the crack has reached inside, but I think looking at with a little bit of driving, I'm pretty sure it'll crack. It's not usable, obviously, apart from the cosmetic, because there's also a big crack developing here. You can see that. So this is a crack. It has reached till here, and I think this can keep going further. And this whole surface, the corner, like there's a line which starts and then the it turns into a crack and it keeps going and it becomes bigger and bigger, you can see. So this, so this whole part was damaged. Interestingly, nothing happened to the tire and I'm glad about that. But yeah, guys, that's, that's the damage on the car. So that's pretty disappointing. Otherwise, in the car's great. Nothing happened to the suspension or stuff. I, I drove it a little bit just to check. So everything else is fine, touch wood. I got some comments on the video that all oh, this is fixable in warranty and stuff so just for people who don't know so Ford used to sell a tire and wheel a warranty and that was available in 2020 cars so obviously they realized that that's a you know like that's a losing street uh, to sell it on this car because they may charge you 1500 or 2000 for a five or seven year and then they have to pay like one wheel cost eight thousand dollars so in 2021 guys there is no warranty so for all of you uh, making comments and posting now if you have a 2021 uh mustang please know that there is no warranty you could buy uh, for any sort of wheel and tire and, and the car warranty does not cover that it's it's a wheel so the brake the the, the pads none of that is covered because it's pretty much like a coll collision situation so your only friend is your insurance so if you have good insurance yeah i mean they should take care of it like in my case i'm, I'm glad they did but that's your only option so you have to go through the deductible you have to go through whatever bump now I, i'm gonna see because i'm sure now they will know that this is some sort of a crazy car which has like an eight thousand dollar wheel so i'm really expecting a bump in my insurance rate but i mean i decided to go that route because i mean eight thousand dollars was like it was just too much for for any one of us so yeah i mean this is this is my update video guys so i will definitely post a a video now when the work is done because they're gonna do the alignment and I'm really worried now how will they do the alignment so I don't want them to further scratch the new wheel and my other side wheel but they should know what they're doing so I, I will go through the process of balancing mounting alignment when the job gets done we should be like in a week's time so stay tuned to the channel and again thank you so much for watching and for all your love and support and please subscribe if you like the content thank you again